Hi, this is Milan Milan. And as mentioned before, what we will study today is Revelation 20 verses 1 through 6. And specifically within these verses, we will speak about the millennial reign. Now, as I would say most of the time, before we start, Let's bow our heads and we will begin the study. Lord, I thank you. You are so merciful. You are most gracious. I ask that you continue to use me as a vessel. There is someone or will be someone, Lord that will hear these messages i ask that these are your words and not my own that these studies will resonate with their heart that you speak to them in such a way lord that the seeds that are sown you will blossom them you will provide the increase. They will come to know the true God, the God of Israel, the God of Jacob, our Savior. Amen. All right, so we have gone over this study but because I mentioned it before, um, we're just going to go over it specifically on the millennial reign. Now, let's get into it. I am reading today from the King James Version. So the new King James Version is in much different it's just the uh, what the language used is just maybe more clearer times I will flip-flop from King James to the new King James but I don't really stray (laughs) I say stray like I'm a cat I don't really stray much from those two actually I don't I used to read the NIV and I don't anymore And that's another topic, another day. But just understand that some verses are not in the NIV. Like I said, another topic for another day. So in the King James Version, again, we're reading Revelation 20 verses 1 through 6. Saints, let's get the Bibles and let's begin. So... My title for the King James Version for these verses is Satan Bound. Now, yes, he will be bound, but that's not what we're really discussing today. We're again, we're going to talk about the millennial kingdom. So verse one starts off. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. 
But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. All right. So now let's get into it. So Revelation 21 through 6. Again, it was titled Satan Bound. But what we're discussing, saints, okay, is that what the rain is going to be like, right? What is this thousand years? Let's give us a taste of this thousand years, right? With Jesus. I am so excited. I I am smiling. You guys can't see me, but I hope you hear it in my voice. I am smiling right now. I, I get so excited when I think about just being in the presence of my Savior. Like, He died on a cross for me and for you. And it's like, you're so awesome. Like, you're just so awesome, right, God? You're just so awesome. So, okay. All right, all right. Let's, let's get to it. So, when you... We're just looking again at the verses, just specifically speaking about the thousand years. Okay, so when you look at 20, verse 4, so it's in verse 4. I'm going to read that one more time and then we're going to go to it. So, and I saw thrones and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshiped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years bam all right so we'll be with Christ for a thousand years The great part during this time is that the righteous is going to be living with Jesus. We go into the millennial kingdom with our glorified bodies, right? Because if if you've gone through the series in the past, and if you haven't, it's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and recap you. It is Revelation 4 where there was a door that was open and there was a voice come up here right come up here that's our rapture y'all because if you look in revelation one through three you hear the word churches right that's us the church church of christ the body of christ but you don't hear it through six through 18 right because six through 18 is the judgment that god is giving this entire world so no we're not here for the judgment because we've already left so there will be people who come to christ during the wrath but That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to the rapture, those who will be caught up in the rapture. um, That is um, in the beginning of Revelation 4. Okay. So we will be reigning with our Jesus for a thousand years. We will have our glorified bodies. We they these <clears throat> excuse me these are people who have not experienced death and yes I do believe I am one of those saints so um there will be no political powers right because it would be, be Jesus it won't be like um you have a mayor here and then you have judges here like a Supreme Court you know what I mean like it's not going to be set up the way that our lives are set right now okay. Um, Jesus is, of course, going to be over the entire world. Okay. Now, if you think about this, Satan is bound. So Satan is not here. Although, there will be sin. 
right? We'll be sin. And that's what we will be um, priests of God and of Christ, right? So if you look at Revelation 20, verse 6, it says, Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years okay so if you it's going to be these christians christians is going to be ruling and reigning with god and christ for a thousand years that's what revelation uh, 20 verse 6 was speaking of but in matthew 25 verses 31 through 34 it will be it's talking about the judgment of the tribulation survivors okay in isaiah 2 verses 1 through 5 it's talking of a time of peace and joy amen and also in isaiah 11 Verses 1 through 10, it is speaking about when animals will be tame. Now, when I was reading now those verses, I was like, okay, I don't know about y'all, but me, I'm afraid of big animals. I'm a little person. I'm afraid of big animals. But, you know, I trust God right i trust them i don't care i trust them and those are his creation as well right and i'm talking about the the animals right those are definitely his creation as well so understanding that and understanding god is a just god and he's a loving god it will make sense why all of his creation is with him right So, okay. And this is just think back to when you read through the Bible, right? And it's going to be a time like prior to the flood. And then basically after the flood is going to be a return. It's going to be a return of what it was like before the flood. And I'm talking about um, when he flood the earth right and he just saved noah and his family and then of course the angels that he I'm sorry, the animals that he saved um on the ark during that time so that's what we have to look forward to okay peace longevity right it speaks in um isaiah 65 19 through 25 it speaks about longevity and then it's also in Zechariah 14 verses 16 through 21 it speaks about a time of worshiping Jesus in Jerusalem guys this is going to be such an amazing amazing time because Jesus is going to be on the throne on the throne our king our lord and savior I I get excited for this time and I for one can't wait. I gave you these verses because I wanted to give you something to go back and look, look for, right? Give you something to go back and study. Go back and talk to the Father about these verses, about this podcast, about everything right in your life. Let's pray that our Jesus returns soon because this world is getting crazier and crazier. And I know I will withstand till the end. But it is testing to say that I will say that. It is testing. But what I do know is that Jesus never fails. He has a plan for us so we are done with the study i'm moving right into what i've been feeling like this holy spirit the holy spirit amen the holy spirit is moving you guys i 
We're just going to get on here and just talk about the millennial kingdom. But I'm urged to tell you this. Do not worry about what you see. Okay? Don't worry about the things that's happening in the world. Yes, it is. It can be trying. Okay? But our God told us to fix our eyes on him. Not what we see. Okay? 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not are eternal. He's telling us, keep our eyes fixed on him. Keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. Don't worry about the things you see. Focus on me. This is what God is saying. Focus on him, right? Focus on him, not what we see. Psalm 46.10 tells us to be still and know that I am God. Amen. We are not to get excited about these things. We are to focus on our God because he's warned us about these things, that these things would come to pass. Psalms 16.8 says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. That these words, I hope that they are encouraging. I pray that you receive them the way it is meant when it was given. That you look at this and you know that our God sits on the throne. Nothing happens without his say. Nothing ever catches him by surprise nothing I pray that just going over the millennial kingdom also gives you hope right because it will come to pass his word will not return void our God is true he loves you he is just He is merciful. Today is also September the 11th. I'm actually recording the day of the airing of this podcast. September 11th is a day that most Americans and others, others as well, can sympathize about the people who lost their lives. And it was, um, it was a really bad time in in our nation, right? This is the 20th anniversary of September 11th. This podcast, all the episodes, everything, of course, is always about our Lord and Savior. Always. There are small moments when I do talk about current events, anything, something other than the Bible, right? But this is just one of those moments that I am speaking about. The lives that were taken and how it affects us, right? As the body of Christ and how it affects the rest of the world. I'm at a loss for words on this. It's so sad but this also is not something that would have caught our Lord 
off guard because nothing catches him off guard. Nothing happens without his final say. He is the final word. He has the final word. I just want to give a moment of silence and respect to those that lost their lives this day 20 years ago. If you just bow your heads with me in that moment, it would be appreciated. Lord, I ask that you continue to watch over, watch over us, Lord. Protect us from the things that are not seen. Lord, protect us from ourselves, even when we think we're making the right decision. I ask, Lord, that everyone that's listening to this podcast, anyone who ever hears these words, Lord, that their hearts are then pulled to you. That we're drawn to the light. We're drawn to truth. And Lord, that your will be done in our lives. We want your will that supersedes anything we could ever want or desire. That when we want you, Lord, when we ask for your will, that our will now becomes your will. Your way of doing things. Your way of speaking to people. Your way of how we live. Lord, we need more of you. We need you, Lord. We need you. Lord, it is nothing on this green earth that you have provided, although it is beautiful, that I want more than you. I ask that you continue to work through us, give us this boldness that only you can provide, to minister to others who need to know you, who desire more of you, Lord. I ask for endurance until the end. Amen. I thank you all for listening today. Please go back in the Bible and go ahead and study God's word, those verses, right? He's left us his word because he loves us. He's left us his word because he knew that this world would be as it is today. He knew things would happen the way that they're happening and that his children would need him always, right? We always need him. The fact that we woke up means that we still have purpose, that God is not done with us. So we should be asking daily, what shall you have me do today, my king? Right? What shall you have me do today? Ask and he will provide. He will show you what he wants of all of us, right? He will show you what he wants from you. And then it's just up to you to be obedient and follow Christ. Do as he has instructed. Podcasts, God willing, are every Saturday, 12 noon, every Sunday, Live <laughs> 12 noon and every Wednesday they air. 
6 p.m. And this is all Eastern Standard Time. Again, I thank you, my brothers and my sisters. Please share these uh, podcasts, episodes. Share the word of God. Be kind to one another. Grow in the Lord. Whatever you are, grow from that, right? Okay, grow from that. Watch the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Be sensitive to the will of God. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will protect you. Until next time, I love you all. Peace.